to drag. Love and Rocket's visit to San Francisco was anything but a drag because the city by the bay had to win. We're Love and Rocket. And some people think we're just a psychedelic revival band. But then some people think 120 minutes is just a video show. And according to this little sticker on the front, it used to belong to Billy Joel. And here, ladies and gentlemen, we have a 1966 FLH. See, these things here are basically to go on here like that. Uh, these are a selection of videos, of which there are five. <laughs> so, where's this going, anyway? Oh. England, are you from London? We're from Northampton. We're Northampton? No, we're from Northampton. His Northampton. grip is wonderful. What's and he's got enormous testicles. <laughs> this is a family show. We could... A highlight of the Love and Rockets stage show is the number where Daniel Ash plays the saxophone in a skirt. Is he fulfilling some deep yearning? Unfulfilled. What, what would you say that is? World domination. <laughs> Anything else? No, I think that's enough, don't you, for one <laughs> lifetime. <laughs> Daniel, you did send this to me personally, right? I'd hate to think it was just like a mass-produced record company. No, no, no. It, in actual fact, that is the only one that is made. I made that myself in my bedroom. OK, well, thank you. I shall yeah. treasure it always. Because we, we, we sort of worked it so that whenever Bauhaus wasn't working, we'd do some stuff, and whenever we weren't working, Bauhaus would do some stuff. Uh -huh. Did you tour when you were together? <laughs> I think deep down are just reacting against sort of redneck attitudes, which I think are, are essentially very unhealthy. You know, it's just like a little bit of uh, accepting the, or acknowledging and not being frightened of the female side of yourself if you happen to be a male and vice versa. We have a special presentation tonight, yes. old son. Yes. Just a box of chocolates, right? Oh, yes. A box of chocolates, thank you very much. Yeah. No, it isn't that jacket I lost, is it? <laughs> Very, very difficult. I smelt it straight away. It's that smell of stainless thing. It's great. It's really old and left. This is amazing. I was backstage with the girl who took it. And I said, we have to get it. Thank you so much. Sure. So there you go, I've got the jacket back, see? Well, we have to have a shower together completely naked, apart from little white ankle socks. We have this shower and it lasts for three quarters of an hour. Get a good sweat on and everything. Go for a sauna after that and then we do a little bit of mud wrestling and then we do the gig. What happened at the start of the thingy? Slice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you did that. Well, I, I haven't. I haven't. At the beginning. He's I haven't at the beginning, Ron. I thought I had the you right one. You fucking playing... Well, uh, I didn't. I, I was... I was, I was I'll playing... I'll tell you what you're playing. I was playing fucking Led Zeppelin. No, you <laughs> was fucking... You was fucking was. playing <laughs> Edges. I was in the 90s. You was playing Edges at the beginning there, right? No, I wasn't. We think it was. I might have been. It went yeah. into the latest song. But old Murph never come in on it. He never fucking come in. Where was it? Where the fuck? There was a strumming away and he did it is a little bit insane, but uh, that's the way New York is. On the trash can, I mean the drums, the trash bales, we have Kevin Haskins. Hi, Kevin. Hello. Say hi to everyone. Can we get a shot of Kevin? I saw this in the cartoon strip, and it summed the whole damn thing up. It just went, band. Band gets successful. Band goes superstar, makes solo albums. Band needs money, gets back together again, and carries on. That's basically the story. About when did tones start? come together as a group. 1902. 1902? Yep, that's it. Well, how old would that make you guys? No, no. No. <clears throat>